Well, hello. This is take two. Tip of the day. Press the record button before you think you're recording. Because I didn't. Anyway, this is the wrap for MB15 2019 in Exeter. November the 7th, 8th and 9th. 10th and coming home. Anyway, uh, started off badly. Couldn't get my right contact lens in, took 20 minutes. Uh, oh, finally got it in, there were still issues with it. The left one, well actually I didn't get it in, I had to swap it over. And I uh, got the left in first time, but that seemed to be the wrong strength. Chucked them both away, started again in business. Which was good. Parking apps. Um, the car park in the Premier Inn is, I'm not sure what they're doing in it. Anyway, you have to park about... 200 yards away, 13 quid a day, they had a parking app, which apparently I'd used before, but forgotten all the details for, didn't keep them in last pass. Uh, it was a faff plus, and cold. But I got there in the end. And the M5, lots of traffic works, unlit. I'm not keen on motorway driving when it is unlit, because dipped headlights, not really good enough. Main beam, you dazzle everyone, so you can't. And, uh, however, Waze got me there. I say hats off to Waze, it's a great app. <laughs> right, um, Exeter itself. There's a Costa Coffee right in the centre of town and it opens at 6.30 in the morning. That's very positive. And they are friendly. I like that. Um, the centre of town is quite compact. There are three weather spoons there. I started off in the uh, George Meeting House, which is an old chapel. It's rather nice, um, although the cast mark certificate seems to be missing. Well, it doesn't seem to be. The barman said it was there and it isn't anymore. And as it was a curry Thursday, I had a curry Thursday um, with a small bowl of chips and I felt stuffed leaving. <laughs> as you can tell. Anyway, um, out of there, and I found a place called the Beer Cellar. Very eclectic. Um, cask, keg, coffee, wine, cans and bottles. And there was a, a lady in a motorised scooter. She came up to the side. She couldn't actually get in that way because of steps. So she parked herself outside. The barman took her a coffee and then took her a large glass of wine and she had one of those things in her nose for oxygen so i think that's fairly inclusive the beers by the way um wild weather um from reading and box not box team box something else from newcastle they were great checked in at the premier inn which is in the center of town couldn't see the sea mainly because we're nowhere near the sea um, but the guy at reception took it well, despite the fact that I couldn't purchase the Wi-Fi because they were having IT issues. Mind you, I had IT issues later on when the laptop shut down overnight while I was uploading um, a bit of video. These sorts of things happen. Anyway, um, after that, the pursuit of hoppiness. A winner. Not quite as good as the Hereford Beer House, but really really good power sockets usb chargers nice toilets um the wild beer co had a tap take over there the night before so lots of their stuff on really good fridge um nice chairs i'm definitely going up back there opens 12 o'clock every day of the week which is a winner this is live from the Chevalier in the second of the Weatherspoons in the centre of Exeter. And um, probably um, there'll be three LTE data uploading this, if I remember to have recorded it. Only time will tell. I like Exeter. It's compact and bijou. And the bees are good as well. Anyway, bye-bye. <laughs>